your lay ho <laughs> A vacation in Bavaria, the home of Bavarians. What's this? Free food and fun too, yeah? I'm there. The red carpet treatment. These uh, Bavarians sure know how to treat a guy. Boy, oh boy, oh. Whoa! I'm Gunther! You came to be my new best friend, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Say, what's the big idea? You come to play with Gunther, yeah? Gunther, 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 Gunther! I came for the free food and fun! <laughs> and this is fun! <laughs> you play with Gunther, and Gunther let you play with all! <laughs> you mean if I just play with you, I get to stay in this swell joint for free? That's it? <laughs> He's a live one, all right. But this is too good to pass up. You're in luck, Gunter, because playing just happens to be my middle name. <gasps> goody, 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 goody! Then here's our new secret buddy handshake. <laughs> what a very annoying kid. But I was a kid once, too, you know. <laughs> this is the life. Relax all day, relax all night. And just come up with simple ways to keep old Gunter occupied. Hey! Woody, woody, woody! We play Navy battle now! Yeah, yeah, whatever floats your boat, kid. I'll use this boat. You go get your own. Aye, aye, woody! That ought to keep him busy for a while. There's a napping. I'll be a tapping. Oh, and now for my second course. So, Mr. Bad Woodpecker Guy, you thought you could escape Uba Duba Man? No freebies. I'm out of this joint. Woodpecker. 
her down. Ah. Oh, no! <laughs> you keep finding me, Woody! Oh, Veter Zing, Gunter. Hmm. Now a quick dip in the neighbor's moat. And I'm out of here. Holy yodeling! My wish came true! A new best friend! Oh no! Not another one! Now I have someone to play with! Happy, happy, happy day! Oh, Woody! Huh? Oh, yeah. So you want someone to play with, do ya? <laughs> Yodelay, he got her! Oh, I found you! I found you! <gasps> Gunter, meet your new best friend. Oh, woof. You have come to play with Frida. Um, no? You're it. You're it. <laughs> Woo! Okay, you throw me. Now play nice. <sighs> now for some Bavarian napping. Ah, oh, you missed me. Now nah, you gotta kiss me. <laughs> and now for the highlight of our tour, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, it's the famous Peckingham Castle. Stay together. You may catch a glimpse of the Queen if you're lucky. <gasps> the Royal Kitchen. Oh, it's been my lifelong dream to be the Queen's Royal Chef. <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. Cream puffs and eclairs flambe. I can whip those up right away. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I am so sorry. Is that the way for a royal cooking assistant to behave? Royal cooking assistant? No, it is not. I am the great Volivorus, the Queen's new royal chef from Sweden. This my first day here, and I got to make my famous Swedish taffy for Her Highness in less than one hour. You will assist the great Chef Wally, ya? Yeah? <gasps> wow. If I can prove to Chef Wally that I'm a good cook, I could become a real royal chef. Now, Woodpecker, work, work, work! All cooking utensils present and accounted for, sir! Out of my way and check the taffy's taffiness. Check the taffy's taffiness? Aye, aye, sir. Please, some salt water. I need a bit of honey. Gooey marmalade. Yeah, a bit of chewing gum. What in the name of all flaming fjords? <laughs> Turn off the machine! Oh no! What lever do I use? Whoa! Shut it down! Down! Right! Down! <laughs> I'll take I can tell you me and sir for the dummy, yeah. I guess down was wrong. No, Chef Wally, please. Just let me cook something and you'll see that I'm a real kitchen magician. No way, Houdini. You'll do your magic on these. Grease them all in five minutes or you're fired. Hmm. How am I going to grease all these pans that fast? The dishwasher. Like I always say, when in doubt, improvise. This butter should do the trick.
What are you trying to do? Ruin me! What's this? Oh no! All done. <laughs> oh no, we're late. Good taker, finish the taffy. If you mess up, I'll see the only place you cook is in the royal dungeon. Everything happens to Bolly. The recipe's all in Swedish. <laughs> oh, here goes nothing. Add some honey, and maybe a dash of this, a pinch of that. Yeah, I'm all over this dessert. You bet! <laughs> oh, Vilikers. I hope that taffy assistant's got my taffy ready. Maybe I used a little too much of this and that, or that and the other. <laughs> that doesn't smell like my taffy. <laughs> Look at what you did to my famous taffy. Oh, my. Who is responsible for this? Oh, well, uh, Your Majesty, uh, this one right here, my assistant, she is responsible for everything. She did it all. You're an assistant? Not anymore. That's right. You're fired. Fired? Why, I'm promoting her. <laughs> but? Winnie, you are my new royal chef. Yeah, I love this. And Wally, you're demoted to assistant. I'll be the world's greatest royal chef. No, no! I am the greatest chef in the world, not her! You can't do this! I will appeal to the speedy... Oh, don't be too hard on him, Your Highness. He means well. He's just a little stuck on himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how droll. Very amusing. Oh, thank you, Highness. <laughs> could hit his 500th home run, and I'm going to catch it. Uh, uh. Uh, <laughs> one for the front row, please, bub. There's only one ticket left for the game, and it's in the cheap seats. Okay. Huh? Sold! Hey, what's the big idea? That's my ticket. Not anymore, funny little man. <laughs> Home run. I'd say it was more of a foul ball. <laughs> hey, no. Strike one. No. Strike two. <laughs> Strike three. You're out. And I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me, little Mr. Chicken Taker. A superbular catch by moi. <laughs> hmm, now where did that ball game busting bully go? <laughs> Enjoy your grub, Bob. Why, you little... <laughs> so long, sap. Cheap seats way out that way. My, my. How convenient and whatnot. I was just looking for this. <laughs> Hmm. Team mascot.
got Rocky the Boy Rocket. I know just how I'll give that guy a seat. On the moon! <laughs> rah, rah, etc. Go Rockets! <laughs> attention, sports fans, attention! Rocky the Boy Rockets Lucky Seat Contest is about to begin. <sighs> a contest? Oh, and I didn't study. That's right, ladies and germs. Who is the lucky one seated in aisle O? Oh, oh, exit me. Oh, I hate alphabetical order. This hurts my head. I'll O, as in, oh my gosh, I'm a big dumb bully with the winning ticket. Okay. One, two, L, seven, M, N, carried it. Three, oh, 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 Pinko, that's me! Row 57, seat nine. <laughs> what do I win? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Rockets don't have red hair. Do they? No! Apparently, today's seventh inning stretch festivities are starting early. Give me back my ticket! Oh, that's gonna leave them seeing stars. Just get hit by a turnip truck, you know. Well, not yet, anyway. Stealing your ticket was wrong and disconsiderable of me. Please, you take the seat. No, you take it. No, you take it. It's all yours. No, it's all yours. No, I insist. You, me, you, me. My, oh, my, and there's a deep drive into left field by Pepper McCracken. It could, it might, it may be out of the ballpark. Gee, you know, I will take this seat. Whoever catches McCracken's 500th home run ball will be the winner of front row season tickets. Woohoo! Thank you, yes, sir. Yes! Holy shamoly! What a spectacular catch by the Woodpecker fan in center field! Say, Sporto, why don't you just keep the seat after all? It's, it's a good seat. I, I like it. It's all mine. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs>
membership to anyone who can make a hole in one tomorrow? Oh boy, that's for me. <laughs> Hello? Yeah? A gig tomorrow? Oh, joy! Better practice my tuba playing. <laughs> Better practice my long drive. What's going on around here? Sorry there, neighbor. I'll just practice in the other direction. I'll have to drive at least 300 yards tomorrow. I better see how far this bad boy can fly. Some of my balls. Hmm. What comes in my yard stays in my yard. Ah, oh, come on. Be a sport and just give them back. I said no. Okay. I guess you just don't have it in you. Have what in me? You can't blow hard enough on that thing to send those balls back. Oh yeah. Watch. <laughs> Well, what do you know? You're a real big bag of air after all. My club. <laughs> Better get 40 winks if I want to be fresh on the links. Woodpecker's gonna do what a woodpecker's gotta do. I am Hans von Silencio, the greatest tuba player of all time. Yeah, I was passing by when I heard your playing. Oh, maestro, I have heard of your great... Silence! What your playing is missing is silence! You should be so good that the audience could actually fall and sleep in their chairs, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Shh. He loves my playing. Sleep well, Mr. Hans von... Woodpecker! <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh! Miss me! 
Monsters up to tonight. Hmm? We're protecting the neighborhood from space aliens, Miss Me. Wanna help? Uh, no! And make sure you keep your aliens out of my yard. Okay, we will. Yeah, bye. You gotcha. Ow! Uh oh. Uh, sorry, Uncle Woody. We're watching out for aliens. Good night, you two. Don't bother me unless you actually bag an alien. Aliens. <laughs> ah, those kids. on a stick. <gasps> hey, you're not an alien. Uh, no. I'm Buzz Bu uh. Buzz Flight Gear. Yeah. Me and Zack Zobar here was in the Flight Academy together back in the day. You know Zack Zobar? I don't remember you from any comics. Well... I'm on a very dangerous mission to fight an alien hiding out in this old house. Read all about it in the next issue, or perhaps in tomorrow's paper. Now scram! Not it. If we help Buzz fight gear, we could be in the next issue, too. Where did he go? <gasps> the alien! No, 
No! But hey, maybe you could help me. See, these particular baddies are using the uh, intergalactical appliance alliance to make themselves invisible. <coughs> all you gotta do to jam their invisibility frequency is to gather up all the radios, TVs, and stack them in the northeast corner of the house. Say here, by the back door. All right, go Buzz Flightgear! Yeah, to affinity and beyond. <laughs> hey, Mothead, don't aliens like to hide under beds and in dark places? Yeah, let's set a trap. We can get the radios and stuff later. Bertha, now let's go bust that appliance alliance. And what self-respecting penny pincher doesn't like hiding a goodies under the mattress? Sometimes my job is just too easy. Caramity! Alien, get it! He doesn't look so good. Help! Help me! The alien must have taken over his body. Close call, eh, Buzz? Huh? Oh, yeah, good job. Now all you gotta do is keep away from me. Ah, I mean, keep it away from me. Here, take this, and this, and take all this. Just keep yourselves busy. Make yourselves the world's most powerful alien eradicator. such thing as aliens. <sighs> now let's get some shot eye. General store where our saying is if we don't have it, buy something else. What do you need, pal? I need supplies for gold mining. Gold mining? Yeah, my great grandpappy was Feathers Mac Packer, gold miner extraordinaire, and I have his secret map. Then what you need is a guide. Someone who's wood smart, knows how to pack light, and won't let you end up on dives for a bear. I come with the supply. Dear. Since I'm gonna be your guide, maybe I ought to take a look-see at that map. Sorry, it's top secret. <laughs> Whew! All that hiking has made me smell kind of foul. Bath time! I'll have that 
map in no time. <laughs> oh, my grandpa, oh, my grandpa, oh, my grandpa, he was swell. He left to me a secret gold mine, but he told me not to tell. What a sucker, what a sucker, what a sucker in the set. I'm gonna swim up right behind you. So I can steal the stinking man. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Seems I've got too many hands. Hey, what do you think you're doing with that? <laughs> I guess anything you want to do with it. You seem like a very busy bear. Places to go, people to eat. Now I'll see you around. Now's my chance to get that map and ditch this chop. I keep the map, bub. But I'll need to see it so I knows where to let you, uh, us off. We need to get off right up ahead. Good. I'll have us there in. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, no! If he goes over those falls, I'm gonna lose that map. <laughs> oh, I made it. Huh? Oh, Mr. Guide! Bye-bye! The fall's not so bad. It's the bottom that'll get you. Fall! <laughs> A good guide always leads the way. The trick to getting across a rope bridge is to travel light. Okay, now throw my stuff over! Now throw all your heavy things! Taking it with me. You win, Buzz. You win. Just please, please, whatever you do, don't put me in that cage. Oh, please, Buzz, no. Don't leave me here. So long, sucker. Ground floor, going up. Buzzy old 
old boy. What took you? <laughs> but I... you... well... Thanks for carrying the load. I'll take it from here. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Inga smorgasbord bit my din din. I'm coming, Inga. Special pizza delivery for Dr. Wallenstein. Mm. Won't you stay and have a morsel with me, Inga? Thanks, but no thanks, Doc. I go for the short, red haired type. About this tall, don't you know? Well, what do you know? A perfect fit. Oh, my! Hello, I'm a Inga. <laughs> yes, who? Oh, Woody. I'm off at 11. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> I never get the girl. <laughs> they all think I'm just boring. <laughs> eh, quit your blubbering. <laughs> yep, I guess some of us got it and some of us don't. Then maybe you could show me how to be more cool, yeah, cool Woody Packer? Sure, if you'll put me up. I'm not going anywhere till 11. <laughs> you rang. Show Woody to the guest room. But be careful with his head. Follow me, buddy. <laughs> I'm not her type, eh? We see about that. When Inga comes back, she gets the woodpecker's body, yeah? But fit me inside. <laughs> Cow, must find the cow. In your body will make me irresistible. I am a cool woodpecker, yes, I am. <laughs> Now I get that Inga girl for sure. Hey, Meatball! You talking to me, Woodpecker? You're a disgrace! Look at you, pompadour falling, feathers ruffled, waddling like a chicken. <laughs> Inga will never go for you. Now let me out of here so I can help you. <gasps> no way, Woodpecker. Ha! Forget it. Now we'll see who gets the girl. You bet! <laughs> <laughs> oh, how about doing that cute little laugh of yours? <clears throat> never mind, never mind, stop! Pet me something out of wood, Dan, okay? Yeah. Uh, peck. 
Oh, yeah. I am Woodpecker. Watch this. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Hey, ho, what do you know? I'm from the Bad Date Intervention Bureau. I've seen some bad dates before, bub, but yours is off the chart. Yeah, it's not going so good. What I do? You need a hat. Now go get her, partner. Yee-haw, I'm a cowpoke, y'all. Look at me, Inga. Oh, I love cowboy hats. <laughs> 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 ah, I'm a girl. Oh, then did I have tusks? <laughs> ah, Pooey, I never did look good in chartreuse. But I'll bet this will confuse the doc just long enough so that I can change into something more comfortable. Namely, me. By Imini, Inga likes me the way I was. Better than this dumb bird's hood, you bet. <gasps> <clears throat> My girl! Doofed! Come on, we got a feet waiting with our feet! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no! <laughs> Make me fall, <laughs> Bye, Yemeni, I get you, Woodpecker! Bye, bye, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Littering my yard, are you? No, uh, we were playing a game. And, and there was a big gust of wind. Uh, the book flew out the window. And we had to come get it back. You like games, do you? Well, I happen to know lots of games. <laughs> Quit your catawalling. We're gonna play Guess What's for Dinner! See if you can figure out what the main ingredient is! <laughs> I've been wanting to have you two for dinner for a long time! So, did you guess what the main ingredient is, huh? Did you? She's gonna eat us! No, she's gonna cook us! Don't you even think about leaving. It's all stormy outside. Uh, well, uh, we were, uh, uh, uh just gonna uh, wa wash up for dinner. Good idea. I like a nice, clean dinner. Bathroom Saturday. <laughs> hmm. Jumpy little tykes. We gotta get out of 
Barbecues. I'll go keep her occupied. Oh! There you are. Where's your brother? It's not dinner without him. Uh, 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 he's, um, um, just washing up. Good. Cleanliness is next to tastiness. I always say. <laughs> Playing my game first! to put this thing together and it's just too darn scary for them to play. Now who am I gonna get to help eat my vegetable stew? <laughs> we almost didn't make it. We gotta tell someone. Wally! You're the last ingredient I need for my woodpecker stew. Uh, he's got Uncle Woody. We gotta stop him. <laughs> Do, 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 do. You drop them, mister! We've had all the weirdness we're gonna take around here! Hey, kids, what's up? Uncle Woody? But we thought Wally was making woodpecker stew! One bowl of stew for the woodpecker. So, do you think it's good enough to win the neighborhood stew cook-off tomorrow, woodpecker? Yours is definitely up there, Wally. Come on, kids, let's go taste Mimi's stew. Oh, no! Oh, we're not going over there, Uncle Woody! Have it your way. That just means more stew for me. You know what I think, Splinter? That if we keep being such scaredy cats, we'll miss out on one of oh. Uncle Woody's best ideas yet. Freaky Freaks, my mother's a freak, your mother's a freak, Freaky Ruziki, Freak Freak and Freak Again, plus the all-time horror movie classic. What the heck are you thinking? Turn on a light, stupid! Meanie, great announce. You got zip, sparkle, flair. And the constitution of a contortionist in a sardine can, sir. <laughs> You know, I think it's time you worked in the theater. I'm giving you a chance for a big promotion. Oh, oh well, well, thank you, sir. I've been brushing up on my management training guide. I won't let you down. Ruling. Attack of the Zombie Woodworms is about to end in Theater 13. Clean it out before the next show. 
And watch out for theater hoppers. Ooh, if I catch one. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie woodworms. It's just a movie. Some <laughs> kids leaving all the seats, catty wonkers. <laughs> Zombie worms! <laughs> Freeloader trying to hide in his seat for a second showing of killer zombie woodworms, huh? <laughs> Theater hoppers than you have tried that one, crying boy. I didn't become a manager in training five minutes ago, you know, Buster. No, no, listen, I'll pay to see another movie. Just don't make me go out in the dark. Your money's no good here, woodpecker. You're a theater hopping, movie grubbing lowlife, and when my boss finds I've kicked your sorry tail feathers out, he'll promote me for sure. Huh? <laughs> Intergalactic on your hindquarters, woodpecker! Meanie, what are you doing? Going woodpecker wrangling, sir. Step aside. Just need to find a nice, peaceful place to hide. The happy cults of Rocking Horse Island. This should be perfect to settle my nerves. Ah, sweet sweetness everywhere. Cole, get off that screen! Oh, that stuff that no good theater offer! Sit tight and out of harm's way, sir! could get me over my fears. <laughs> what happened to you, bud? Beanie! Yep. Know just what you mean. She's been after me all night. Here I am, sir. The little theater hopper got away, but I'll find him. You'll never get a promotion in my theater, Meanie. Not only did you tie me up, you've broken nearly every rule of customer relations. You've... You've... She scared the daylights out of me. Frightening customers! She wouldn't take my money. Refusing service! And, and most of all, you've... She was disruptive when others were trying to watch the movie. <laughs> Disrupting the movie-going experience! She did all that? 
Oh, please, don't report these incidents to the theater chain, Mr. Woodpecker. It could mean my job. Well... If there's anything I can do for you... Anything? And today's feature, Citizen Woodpecker, Jurassic Woodpecker, Woodpecker and the Tramp. You know, Mimi, you got the best movies in town at your theater. I wonder who picked them. <laughs> I'll just use my lifetime free movie pass for a ticket to every flick. <laughs> I'll be watching out for you, Woodpecker. Mark my words! I won't be in this booth forever! 